Baby, I'm holding Shorty, you gon' be left with your heart broke Your friends think I'm gorgeous, built like an artist Time to get sold in an art show I pulled up the last five nights Callin' my Ubers like usual, huh? Girl, get a clue, you read a room You the next boatload of cargo, huh? Watch me let me show you how to get more points in Uigahara Dungeon and of course increase your chance in getting more rare drops in Project Slayers Update 1.5. First thing I want you guys to do is go to the hub and look for people who is willing to do dungeons with you. Now I usually do this in public server and I think most of you guys already played with me in public server most of the time. And one more thing that I suggest is only play with a maximum of 3 people in a dungeon. That is to avoid the HP scaling in the dungeon if you really want to get more points. Now, I normally do run dungeon with only duo or trio. Uh, I won't run with 4 people. That is because the HP scaling of 4 people is insanely hard. And you know the last time we did like 4 people we only got like around 5k-ish. So so it's not really that good and it's they're kind of hard to kill so uh, the, the best thing is you get to run with three people uh, based on my experience I've been doing with trio uh, most of the time and I farm dungeons so yeah uh, it's pretty easy and I gotta lie guys so yeah here's some few tips that you need to know right here uh, one thing is make sure to keep close to your teammate uh, if possible go in a party and second one right here is you know save the orb so there's like good orbs that you need to save okay like the green ones that regenerate your health or this this one right here that avoids aggro with the mobs this is literally like the best one that can save your teammates anytime you will see in the video or later on and last but not least is the one shot buff orb right here literally the best orb to get whenever the timer goes up or you're like uh, when the enemy is just so tough to kill once you one shot them it gives like hella a lot of points and the third one right here is to make sure to use maximum damage equipments okay that is to improve your damage so that you can kill mobs faster and much more easily easier until then just farm normally in dungeon whatever you usually do now in around 10 to 15 minutes uh, most mobs is still doable in trio they're kind of easy to kill as long as you don't get infinite combo you know what you're doing you're pretty much good so as you guys can see right here everything went smooth and let's skip to the part where we are at 20 minutes where everything is so strong and this is where you're gonna get a lot of points a lot of mastery a lot of everything so we are in the 20 minute stops right here, uh, most mobs is kinda hard to kill now. Okay, let me just get this invisible buff. Now, uh, yeah, once you get this buff guys, the aggro will change to the person who doesn't have this buff. So as you guys can see, let me just try to save him real quick. Okay, there you go. So uh, you, you get you get my point right here guys. Once you get something uh, like to help your teammate out, just literally help them out. Like here to buy as much as time for them. There you go. So I think it's literally getting all the aggro bro. Now let me just go to him real quick. Okay, there you go. Okay. This this, there you go. Uh, I don't know if I can still save him, but you know, uh, if you're like around in 10 to 15 minutes uh, time, uh, I think you sh you will be able to save him, but this time, that damage for this mob is pretty high. Let me just try to save him again. Oh my god, my cooldown is too long. Okay. Oh my god, I think he's gonna get infinite combo right here. Okay, there you go. Okay, I was able to save him. Come here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Come here. Oh no, I missed. Okay, come here. Oh no, I think he died. I think he died. <laughs> okay, that, that's too that's too much, okay? But yeah, we got a lot of points right there, guys. Look at this. See that? Oh my god, now, this is where the best part is gonna happen to you guys when you run with three people. Now, if you're the only one survived or some of you guys have this invisible buff, look at this. I just got another invisible buff. You are gonna get a lot of points, okay? Trust me, you're gonna get a lot of points. I'm gonna speed forward this and let's see how much we're gonna get.
unfortunately my invisibility buff finally runs out and now let me try to survive from this but uh a tip that i forgot to mention to you guys earlier is always have a regeneration pot on you or use them every time when they are gone so is that that will actually keep you alive not gonna lie it saved my life multiple times so yeah it just kind of keeps regenerating right here so uh, a lot of mobs still aggroing me but i think i'm gonna die soon enough okay look at the look at this and it's okay bro come on chill out bro okay uh, that canceled my thing but yeah i think i'm gonna die right here okay infinite combo coming in and i think we're pretty much dead but yeah as you guys can see right here you get a point uh if you survive um you know more than 20 minutes i think you're gonna get a lot of points uh just use the orbs wisely and you know always cover your teammate that's pretty much it and you know once you do uh, you're gonna get a lot of massive points like trust me it's very easy and anyways that's pretty much in this video guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to like don't forget to subscribe and turn that post notification bell on for more awesome videos like this so as always thank you for watching and see you in the next video peace out